All right, questions for document E, MLK. Sourcing, who was King's audience? We already looked at that in the source information, right? We found that in here. All right, so you're gonna check either the top or bottom for his audience, who is he speaking to? This is a tougher part. Why, or sorry, what does that imply about King's intentions in the speech? So depending on who he's speaking to, he's gonna have different intentions, right? If he's speaking to a group of white people who aren't interested in this, he's probably going to tame some of his language, right? He's not gonna to speak too aggressively. If he's speaking to protesters, he's going to use things to try to fire them up, to make them feel as if they should keep going. If he's speaking to the white business people who are being affected, right? He might be saying, you know, he might be saying things about how it's affecting their businesses. So who he's speaking to affects what he says. You gotta explain that. Contextualize. What does this document suggest are key factors in the success of the boycott? All right, so here, we really, all these annotations here we did in the side are all talking about key factors. I would list at least three, right? Number three, close reading and contextualization. Find and list four references to religion in this speech. How does King use religion in this speech? Um, on your paper, I just made you list three. So look at each paragraph, find a quote, All right, Christian movement, right? God is for it. List three references to God. And the next part, after you list your three references, how does King use religion in this speech? So in what way, like, is he weaponizing it? Kind of. I mean, he's using it to give these people something, right? He's using it to have an effect on these people. What effect does he want? Does he want to make them sad? Make them enthusiastic? You got to look at that. What does this suggest about the role of religion in the boycott, right? So we're going to have to infer, make a make an educated guess based upon what we said. Um, like, for example, do you think this protest would have been successful without religion? I don't really know. I mean, besides all these beliefs, they're using the church to organize the bus boycott, right? Which we saw in document C, right? Let me pull that out real quick. So in here, they used churches in order to fund the carpool, right? Collect money, church collect collections, paid for the gas. All right. So what role does religion have? What does it suggest about the role of religion, right? Did it play a key role? Was it minor? So you just got to explain that and analyze that role. And lastly, number four, which is kind of our wrap up, right? Where I put, I'm gonna do some notes here in the back. Overall, this is like our short essay, one paragraph question. Why was the Montgomery bus boycott successful? Was the question. You got to come up with a thesis and some supporting evidence and do it in five sentence sentences. So I think of like races as a way to do it. Um, restate the question. So I would just restate it. My first sentence would be, 
the Montgomery bus boycott, you know, occurred in the list of date. Right, so maybe like just give some background. Um, it occurred in this city, in this state, in this year. That might be my first sentence. All right, so my first sentence would be the Montgomery bus boycott, and then occurred in just like list some key details, some background. Races. So. Restate the question, right? Answer the question. In the next sentence. The Montgomery bus boycott was successful because, this is a thesis. List your reasons. Maybe two or three. Obviously, I'm much better at typing than writing. So, again, your second sentence, the Montgomery bus boycott was successful because this is your thesis. Give your two or three answers. Because of the carpool, because of, you know, the Highlander School. Look at all the documents. Which two or three do you think are most important? So, thesis, give your... You're arguing two to three answers. Everybody's might look a little bit different. All right, so we did restate the question, answer the question, cite evidence for C. To make it easy, let's go back to E, the belief in God part, right? I might use, they believed God was for the movement, right? I might use that. So instead of just saying in document E, I'm going to say in a speech, this was to, to the Montgomery Improvement Association, right? Martin Luther King stated that and then I'm going to give my evidence in quotes blah 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 I'm going to put in parentheses where I got it from document A so just make sure you do that you should probably do at least like two or three pieces of evidence Analyze, how do these prove your thesis? So you gotta do a sentence, right? That's for here. We did the citing evidence, explain, which is also analyze. You know, I would start out by saying, this evidence proves that in your own words connect it. All right? That's our fourth sentence. That's explaining or analyzing. Now, your concluding sentence or summarizing is the S, right? I would use some sort of transition word. In conclusion, in summary. You know, restate your thesis in a different way. So next week, we're going to be doing coming up with some scenes based on these documents. So again, restate your, your thesis in a different way. Hopefully that helps. Races, right? So we got it.
we had R, restate the question. A, answer the question. C, cite your evidence. E, explain your evidence. And S, summarize what you're saying here. All right, good luck. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.